Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. As you know, BIM is trending and there are a lot of job opportunities in market for BIM specifically. But do you know that there are different categories in which you can get hired into a BIM industry? Yes guys, there are different type of roles and responsibility that can be assigned to you based on the job categories that you are getting hired for. So in this video, we'll be talking about these job categories and how you can grow through a certain job category. So without any delays, let's get started with the video guys. Okay guys, so the first category is BIM coordinator category and this is the first job that I did over here in Canada. I had no clue what a BIM coordinator does or what are the roles and responsibility and what is the hierarchy into a BIM integrated system. So a BIM coordinator is basically a person who is working under a BIM manager and you will be helping the BIM manager to set up the projects. Basically, you will be linking different Revit projects. You will be setting up the first initial project for the architecture technologist and architects to work on. So this is the overview of BIM coordinator's job. You will also be integrating these model and uploading these model onto the cloud or Autodesk 360 as they call it now. So these are the core features that you will be doing. Plus you will also be helping the BIM manager to train the staff as in architecture technologists and architects to work with a BIM integrated environment. You will also help in setting up the project templates and the startup projects. So basically a startup project is the first uh, file of Revit that you create, but in companies, they have their own templates, own styles, own categories, own families, and all of these things. So they create a project setup or a first project. So from that file, we create a base lining for you. So you will be making a shell in this uh, project file. You will be making a interior model into this project file. We will have linked all those files for you. So all of these things are done by a BIM coordinator. It is a very important job. Uh, you will be directly dealing and contacting the project leads, the lead architects. You will be talking to even the principal architect. So this is how the first step of a BIM job or a BIM coordinator job looks like. Next on my list is BIM modeler. A lot of people have asked me what is basically a BIM modeler job. So basically BIM modeler job is a person who knows how to work with BIM, who knows how to link model, who knows what are the uh, details that go into a BIM, what is a BIM execution plan. You have a basic general knowledge of BIM. You know how to model into a BIM interface. You know how a linked model will be shown into your uh, model category. So you can get hired as a BIM modeler. BIM modelers sometimes even help uh, developing few of customized family for uh, the companies or a client. So these are the jobs for BIM modelers. A lot of architecture technicians who are good with BIM interface, they can also go on for BIM modeler job category. So it's not a hard fast rule that you need to have a degree in BIM or you need to have a certification course into BIM. But if you know how to model in ArchiCAD, if you know how to model in Revit, you know the basics of BIM, you can go for BIM modeler job. Next on my list, I have BIM content developer job. Uh, this is the job that I am currently doing. Uh, con content developer are basically advanced BIM users. Uh, you know everything about BIM. You know how to set up a project, how uh, model or Revit reads a certain family. What are the data uh, hierarchies that go into those families? You will be making these families based on company standards. You will be embedding data into these families for your company to use it later. So you are doing the very core work on which the entire family and all the projects in those families or 
in those companies will be based on the families or the content that you are developing. I would also say that if you understand how to build Revit families, you know how data works into these Revit families and BIM uh, interface, then I think so this can be a good job for you. Uh, this still will require a lot of BIM exposure. It will still require a little bit of uh, project exposure as well into BIM environment, like where people are using different models, they are linking those models, they are scheduling those models. They will, uh, you will have to have the understanding how Revit reads data from these families and how you can make these families parametric so that they can increase their size, decrease their size, change rotations and stuff like that. I have made a lot of reels and I have uploaded a lot of story of my work. So if you want, you guys can go ahead and check that out. Now next and the top categories are basically you can become a BIM manager or a BIM project lead or a BIM specialist or they even call them as BIM champions but I haven't heard any company using that word. But while learning, you will come across this word that is called the BIM champion. So first category is your BIM manager. Once you have two, three years of experience into BIM coordination, you can uh, upgrade yourself up to BIM manager. And of course, it depends on your company. They can promote you to BIM manager. So don't think that you can just graduate fresh out of a course into BIM and then become a BIM manager. It won't work like that. Even if you have 10 years of experience into architecture, it doesn't matter. It won't work like that. So a uh, BIM manager is that person who controls the project, who knows what goes into the project, what is the model health condition. They run uh, all the tests that makes the model fluent, easy and light. They even help in recovering the project in just for example someone uh, brought in something that destroyed the model basically someone uh, imported a autocad drawing and exploded it into the project environment and guys uh, if you don't know about this you can go ahead and search what happens if you explode an autocad file into a bim project just search on YouTube and you will get to know. I will make a dedicated video about this. So in these kind of scenario, BIM managers come into play. They control who access the model, which consultant can access your model on what level. And even, even the people in your firm itself won't be able to access a certain project unless and until it is approved by your architecture lead, um, your company principal and your BIM manager. So BIM manager is the gatekeeper who guards your project and who overlooks your project. BIM lead in a company basically is someone who develops a BIM standards company wide. So while developing these standards, BIM manager, BIM lead, principal architects, in even architecture users, they sit together, they talk, they bring up issues. For example, they will be talking about, okay, we don't have enough families to make our models efficient. We don't have enough dimension styles that uh, can help us make our model better. So what BIM lead will say that, okay, fine, we will develop these standards for you. We will develop these families. We will get these families. We can uh, make your uh, working environment more easier into Revit. So all of these things are done by BIM leads in the company. BIM champion is basically who has more than five to 10 years of experience in managing BIM projects. So these people are well versed with every aspect of BIM interface, they know how to develop a BIM execution plan. They know how to integrate BIM interface into your company. A BIM champion, if a company hires a BIM champion, they are obviously expecting him to integrate BIM into their company. So this level of BIM fluency is reached after four or five years into this industry or more. And you will need to know a lot of scenarios in which your model or your project can go wrong. So these are some of the things that you have to keep in mind. And coming to some comments and questions over here. Um, so few of you have asked me about uh, the best uh, BIM 
coaching centers or BIM institutes from where we can learn BIM. So guys, uh, unfortunately, I am not aware of uh, what coaching centers are the best right now. I did make few videos around a year ago, but right now I'm not aware and I don't want to share an institute's name uh, and later on hear complaints from uh, you guys that this was not a good decision. I don't want to play with your money and of course, uh, why would I why would I share a wrong information? And most probably I will be coming to India in next two, three months. So when I'm in India, I will personally do my own research. I will meet few people who are doing their BIM courses from different institutes. And then I will share with you uh, the latest updated information about BIM with you guys. This was it for today's video. If you have any doubts or queries, uh, please mention it in the comment section. And guys, keep supporting Archivlogs. I can make these videos just because of your support. I'm not getting paid or promotion or anything. I'm not doing that as well that much because I, I want to give you pure knowledge. I just want to share what I know about the industry, what I am going through into this industry and make this community stronger. So yeah, that's all. And take care of yourself. I'll see you soon, guys.